Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disgaea 3 Absence of Detention. You may wonder why I am in the save menu and why I am entering the uh, finale just right now. That is because we have a special ending to cover. For this episode, you want to make sure you are capable of defeating a couple of level 500 units. Between uh, Saitama, Mao, and Sheng Long, I am more than capable of this task, and so I will be entering the classroom. We want to go into our homeroom and watch a different ending. This only appears in Chapter 8, although I have heard that sometimes it could happen due to a glitch. You also want to be able to uh, pass this bill, whether by... Uh, consensus or by force. I will be passing it by force because I am just that good. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting that to happen. <laughs> Let's do it. And this is about the same as usual, just the usual, you know, passing bills by force. Note to my uh, future self when uh, uploading this, this needs to go up after all of the, uh, after the other endings. Besides, uh, besides the ones you haven't recorded yet. Thanks, future mate. <laughs> Alright, that's the thing that's taken care of. I can't deal with that guy yet, but Shang Long can! Let's see, gets over to his... Uh, over. As usual, everybody's struggling to land a hit on one punch man. <laughs> Just because he is that good. I read a theory on TV Tropes that one punch man is... That Saitama is as powerful as he is, because he is some kind of, like, enlightened Buddha superhero, because he only does superhero stuff for the heck of it. He doesn't have to hold back, and he just gets super strength out of the whole thing. <laughs> that is a theory I have read. I don't know how truthful that is, but it's true. So, I got Dragon Quest Seven on the 3DS recently, and it is kind of a thing. I haven't gotten very far with it, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's Dragon Quest. <laughs> Not much more needs to be said. So yeah, that is what I've been doing, besides the uh, let's playing this game and uh, going through Ace Attorney Theme Sprite Spirit of Justice. Which is still a really great game, let me tell you something. Alright, we have almost cleared out our, uh, our assembly here, which is pretty great. Let's get a little bit of help from now here. Awesome! Watch a different ending was approved. Alright, now, before I go uh, select this different ending, I am going to bring special attention to my party. As you can see, I have recruited Bowtie. I have also recruited Goro, Seto, Pauline, and Breezy Satina, the other five DS gentlemen. As with the other four that you can recruit in this fashion, uh, you do this by starting a new game plus while Mao is above the character's level. So, to get them all, you have to do nine new game pluses and have Mao be over level 700. That, he, that is why he is level 6, 761, as you can see here. As for the characters themselves, Bowtie, a great motivator who just showed up to preach about building muscles and sweat. His motto is, ONE MORE SET! Very high HP, also pretty high in the attack and defense departments, and his ability is Macho Splendor. Takes half damage from ladies. Goro, the Animal King. A gourmet master who advocates monsters, good at eating and beating, being eaten. Unfortunately, even monsters hate him. Dark Blood, stats increased by 5% per allied monster unit on the map. Okay. <laughs> he has high SP, int, and res. Interesting. Seto O, the duelist master, greatest summoner in the netherworld. Despite his looks, he is very immature and quite weak. He has high attack power, very high attack power. Stats increased by 30%, but you cannot heal him with magic. Kind of a deal breaker right there, honestly. Pauline, the orphan girl, a carefree girl who bravely lives on. Her whole family died, as does everyone else who tends to hang around her. Oh, that's dark. 
When HP is under 25%, HP recovers fully at the end of the turn. She has very high res, so if you are looking for a uh, healer with high starting aptitude, this might be her. Of course, it's really awkward to teach her skills because she has no uh, weapon affinities, but you know, whatever. Breezy Satina, the classroom queen. She has fun studying kids for a living. Though cheerful, she is quite malicious. She is secretly enemies with Meowskers. Blood Insanity. Damage dealt increased by 30% when target HP is under 50%. She has extremely high hit and speed, making her the ideal gun user. Alright, that is all there is to be said about the DS Gentleman. Let us continue onward. What is all this? Where is where is my new ending? Bow. Where is my new ending? <laughs> uh, hang on a minute, guys. Oh, okay. We have to beat the final level, guys. <laughs> okay, time to go do that. We'll, we'll just skip through the story. Play the music! Finished him off with a normal punch. <laughs> kind of. Alright, so, now that we have done that, we will not skip the story. Instead... I've defeated the superhero. Now no one stands in my way. Hold on, Dad. You'll rest in peace soon enough. Dad? Where are you, Dad? He's not here? Impossible! 
people. He's gigantic! Where could he go? Uh, how about underneath you? <laughs> I've been waiting for you! Oh no, it's that guy. Dad, is that you? That's right! I'm your pops! Hey there, Laharl! <laughs> Indeed, uh, during the early development of Disgaea 3, uh, it was proposed that Mal would be Laharl and Flan's son. Obviously, this idea was scrapped. But it's good to see they're making references to it here. Wait, really? Yup, that's your papa! <laughs> <laughs> that is a weird voice for uh, for Etna to make. Aw, what an emotional reunion. So, how do you feel? Tiny. <laughs> huh? What's the big idea? I didn't raise no son of mine to be some loud mouth punk. I don't remember being raised by you at all. Where'd my dad go? Hello, I told you. This is your father. Why don't you go ahead and give him a hug? Why the hell would I do that? <sighs> What's wrong? He said himself that he's your dad. Really, Almaz? You thought your dad was dead, but it turns out he was alive. Though a lot smaller, shouldn't you be happy? I know you've been cut off from your family for a long time, but you should take advantage of this opportunity. That's right. Don't you actually want to reconcile with your father? Are you guys dumb? There's no way he's my dad! <laughs> You're so cynical! Who do you think he turned out to be like? It's gotta be you, Prince. You're, like, totally the same. Hey there, Flan. Huh? But his eyes look just like mine. But who are you? <laughs> I'm your mommy! <laughs> what? I thought we agreed, Flan. I'm the mama! You have two mommies? Which one is your birth mom? <laughs> ah, the secrets of Mal's birth will finally be revealed, huh? Indeed. We must make it clear which of the two is the mom and put an end to the soap opera drama. <laughs> I'm starting to want to put an end to my relationship with you first. I said I'm the mom! Tell me, what part of this made you want to marry him? Um, oh, gee. Well, how everything revolves around him? <laughs> Come on, Flan. I thought you actually liked him. That just means he's selfish! Oh, um, oh, I know. I like how he always has the heart of a young boy. What? Because he's just a kid. He's selfish, loud, rude, stingy, and he keeps eating all my sweets. But if I think about it more, I'm sure I can find at least one thing that's good about Laharl. <laughs> How about the character development he got during the first game? Like, oh, I know. His strong will to stick with his beliefs until the end, even if it causes people to get hurt. <laughs> that still falls under selfish. You guys really think of me like that? What a completely unrespected dad. Aha! You just acknowledged that I'm your daddy. No Batsies. Never. I was amazed with stupidity. Enough of this playing around. I'll rip your masks off right now. Oh! You'd rebel against your father? 
Fine by me. I've been itching for a fight. Good luck, Papa. You know, if things go well, we can just kill these kids and take over this game, Prince. <laughs> Once again, they're trying to be the main characters. I plan to from the start. Prepare. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mog. Sure, whatever you say. Divine Dragon and an Agni. As for the characters themselves, Laharl, Etna, and Flan return from the sky of 1 and 2. A demon lord who rivals overlords, has a sharp tongue and a sweet tooth. Spears, axes, and guns. Dominant Smile. Stats of ally prunies on the map increase by 20%. Double lock-on. Normal attack occurs twice if attacking without moving. Neat. Isn't that a Basile uh, ability? Prinny Raid. Sexy Beam. Chaos Impact. And of course she has some gun uh, attacks as opposed to spear for whatever reason. Laharo, a foreign overlord who wants airtime, self-proclaimed strongest and evilest boy. He likes swords, spears, and axes. His attack is very high. Uber Overlord Soul, special attack damage increased by 20%. He has sword text, plus blazing knuckle, overlord wrath, and meteor impact. Flan, the fallen angel. Fallen Angel from another netherworld, a love freak and hero maniac. She likes bows, guns, and stabs. Her res and hit are very high. Love Field knows all instant death effects on ally. Wow! I want that! Oh man, Flan! You are awesome already. Holy Arrows! Power of Love! And Flonzilla. <laughs> she also has some bow techniques. Alright, let's take care of them. Saitama, you are up. Mal, you are also up. I should only need these two guys, I think. Yeah, I didn't think so. Of course, Setna was able to take a hit, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Good to see things haven't changed much since the first game. Also, how nice for a Magnificent Dark Family 2005 to return. That was a pretty great remix to what would otherwise be a... Uh, a pretty dull, uh... Well, dang it, Laharl. Now we gotta bring out Shang Long. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Guy? Yeah, I wasn't thinking he would one-shot my dudes. It just goes to show you, do not underestimate Laharl. Especially if you are not playing as him. <laughs> Then again, with my solo run of the first game, it kind of goes to show you should not underestimate him even when you are playing as him. Even if I had to, to switch between a sword and a bow sometimes to do stuff. But you know, whatever. Let's watch the ending! Father, then? 
You're finally being honest. Their fists did the talking, huh? Found your family bond through a good fight, huh? What a nice story. Ugh, I don't like this. Why did I lose? Dad? Stupid Dumbo! I'm not your dad! I'm an overlord passing by! Most shocking twist yet! Hey, Prince, don't tell them our secret! But I am your real mommy, though! <laughs> Laharl, I think Flan wants to have your babbies. That's cheating! Trying to save yourself, huh? And to think, you used to be an angel. That's why I said it won't work for me to play the dad! You also said you didn't care which part you played, as long as you got the majority of airtime, Prince. Laharl, are you saying you wanted to be his mom? That's just silly. This isn't this guy a D2. So where's my dad? <laughs> and then the game just ends. Way to go, guys. You totally derailed the ending. Of course, I guess it's kind of our fault for passing that dark assembly bill. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh no, spoiler characters in the credits still. Yeah, I pretty much have nothing to say at this point. <laughs> I'm just letting the credits play out because they are the credits. Thing! Shut up! Even during the credits. F-O-E. I'm telling you, man. Oh, hey, the credits are over. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that kind of happened. We are not going to save. And that just takes us back to the beginning of the game. Good times. <laughs> Alright, that being said, I will see you guys all at the end of Chapter 7 for uh, yet another ending. <laughs> It just keeps happening! Ah, I'm falling down all the stairs! Ah!